Alrighty, well, good evening, everybody, and, and, yeah, uh, you, and yes, I said good evening, um, reason being is, uh, it's 10 p.m. right now, and, um, I need to get this cast taken care of, all uploaded, processed, and all that, and, you know, just totally squared away before midnight when there's a chance that they're gonna shut down my internet for a few hours, so, um, but, so to start with, I'm gonna crack open a can of V8 Energy, peach mango flavored, so. Get ready for some pops. And um, they, um, I think yesterday, possibly the day before as well, um, I said I was going to be phasing out these uh, V8 energy drinks because uh, they're too expensive. Well, I was saying that at a time when uh, only one grocery store around where I live, or here, I got a, I got a fruit fly buzzing around, so I got a, put a plastic cap over the can so he's not climbing in it. Anyway, um, there, at the time, there was only one store, one store um, around where I live that actually consistently sold these, but they were also like super expensive as hell. Well, got lucky today. Um, had to do some grocery shopping and Walmart had some. Um, so, swooped up on a, swooped up on a, a 12 pack of peach mango. So, should be good to go for a while. But anyway, uh, for the music, it's going to be Thangarodrum, uh, Tolkien-inspired music uh, from from the prologue collection. I guess this is a remaster. Seems kind of seems kind of awkward uh, titling your album Tolkien-inspired music. And yes, this is from Out of Season. Um, probably my, my pretty much my favorite source for a dungeon synth, mainly because the thumbnails are so cool to look at. So. Okay, but anyway, like I was saying, um, I kind of need to get this taken care of early, uh, before midnight, when there's that chance that they're going to shut down my internet. And, um, so, and I'll also do this in case there's a, in case I have the same problems today that I did yesterday when, um, I was finished my, I finished my cast and I tried to send it off, but, um, OBS decided to hang. It was still, it was still recording. It wouldn't stop. And then when I actually closed the, uh, when I actually closed the window, it corrupted the file. So... Um, something else I forgot. To, something else I forgot to say about that. Oh, and also, I don't have, I don't have, um, I don't have any notes prepared or anything like that. So, for the most part, I'm going straight off the cuff. Let me turn that down a tiny bit. Okay. Um. But yeah. Anyway. Um. So. What I'm gonna do now, going forward, provided I remember to do this, is um just gonna do my cast like normal, and um if for some reason I get the same issue again, then I'll I'll make a second attempt, but this time it'll be a segmented one, meaning I'll only talk for like maybe a few minutes, and then restart it, and basically not doing the whole cast in one go, but doing it in little sections at a time, you know, stopping and restarting this way. So if there's a if one if one segment of my video decides to hang, I'll know why, and then fix it. So, um, but otherwise, uh, pretty much just been um, just doing laundry, um, just been up uh, putting this cast together, and been playing some odd jumps of war as well. So, but like I said, I'm kind of a I'm kind of in hurry mode because I need to get all this taken care of before midnight. Sorry that I keep talking about this, but it just, I, I freaking hate it when they do this. I mean, I, you guys have probably heard this in my other cast, but you know, I'm sitting here paying 160 to $170 a month for internet that now gets shut down at least once a week. So, so like I said, I kind of have to, I kind of have to rush through this. But yeah, otherwise, I've been playing a lot of Gems of War as well. So, and 
just mostly mostly did PvP. Um, I the the rankings reset every week, so I'm at I started at uh, everybody starts at tier 15, and then it goes all the way up to tier one. I made it to like tier seven, tier eight, or something like that. So I'm halfway to one. Um, but one big thing, I might put this on my um, I might put this on my title, but this next part's gonna be a bit on the disturbing side. So, but yeah, it came up on my YouTube recommendations. I checked it out immediately. Um, this channel called Nerd City, they did a video on another channel called Daddy of Five. It was basically a, ch it's basically a child abuse channel, like, you know. You know, physically and emotionally abusing children. So yeah, and then the one thing that, when watching this, and the stuff that the stuff that Nerd City was showing didn't didn't disturb me that much. Um, I'd say for at least four years, when I was living in Oklahoma, um, I moved in with my sister and brother-in-law, and my brother-in-law down there is a card-carrying redneck. So, you know, really big into pro wrestling and all that. Um, wrestled around with the kids. Kids, you know, kids fought each other a lot. Um, although, the stuff that they were doing wasn't nearly as bad as what uh, Daddy of Five was doing. Like, just, you know, whopping the crap out of them. Whopping the crap out of the kids. Uh, kids basically pro wrestling each other, slamming each other around. And the entire time, they're sitting here, they're sitting here filming this with a cell phone. Doing basically nothing to break it up, but, but like I said, this is a this is a child abuse channel. And then on top of that, I don't know how well you can see it, but that channel had 750,000 subscribers. That's 750,000 people that approve of that kind of thing. So, on one end, yeah, I mean, pretty damn bad. You know, but on the other hand, and I'm sorry if this sounds very selfish of me, but I kind of had the same epiphany that Bill Hicks had. You know, when uh, he was watching a Ted Bundy trial, and like, all these women, all these fans of his, yeah, Ted Bundy, the serial killer, actually had a freaking fan club. All these women were saying, oh, he never do it, him, he never did it, he could never, him, he could never have killed those women. You know, and I guess they're, uh, he said that they were like giving him love letters and stuff like that, and actually, uh, actually wedding proposals and stuff. And Bill's like, the first thing that crosses his mind, <laughs> and I'm not getting laid. <laughs> like, what the hell am I doing wrong here? <laughs> that seems the only logical question. <laughs> Man, Ted Muddy, he must have been heavy on the sense of humor part that all you, that all you women love in your ladies' polls, you know. And I kind of thought the same, you know, I was kind of thinking the same thing too as I was watching this. You know, I must be doing something. I must be doing something really seriously wrong here. You know. You know, very few, if any, people actually check out my uh, my YouTube videos. You know, other than the occasional uh, the occasional fluke here and there. I think um. I think there are a few. There are a few of my cast videos where a whole bunch of people watched it, but yet only one single like. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking view bots, because you know I would have thought that if, if I would have had that many views on those on my cast videos, I would have had you know I would have had more than just one like, you know maybe some dislikes as well, you know but nothing. It's like 90% of my uh, YouTube videos. I mean there, are only few people see them, and it's like one maybe two likes. You know, and none of my videos involve child abuse. You know, it's just, you know, me talking and me talking for roughly 15 minutes and then, and then as of recently, actually adding some video. Or I, I've, I've recently taken to calling it video ambience. They're, um, it's not a PowerPoint presentation, but they're just there for like something to look at and, you know, add a little bit of garnish, a little bit of flavor to me, to my uh, talking. You know, but I mean, again, I'm, I'm not trying to be narcissistic or selfish when I say this, and uh, 
But again, I'm not, you know... It's all about me. Or anything like that, but you know... You know, and I've, I've said this to my... Uh, I've said this about my streams, too. Like, when, uh... Especially back when I played Final Fantasy XIV, when I was streaming that, there's been a few times where literally nobody checks out my stream. Like, none. Zero. You know, it, it's not... And it's not some kind of entitlement thing, either. You know, but it's like, you know... Sacrificing sleep to do this. You know, I'm spending a lot of time, a lot of effort. Um, you know, I I spent a lot of money up front to, you know, for the computer, the stream equipment, etc., etc., to get all this stuff put together and nobody shows up. You know, I'm not getting out of it what I'm, you know, I'm not getting out of it what I'm putting into it. So, you know, so again, I'm not, I'm not being a, not being a whiny baby or anything, but, you know, there's, there's a lot of money and effort that goes into here. It just, so, but again, this is, this is, this is what I was thinking too when I was watching this, you know, you know, my videos are like the farthest thing from removed from any concept of child abuse. But here we got a uh, 750,000 people that think this stuff is great. Smack them harder, smack them harder, harder, harder. That's basically what they're saying by subscribing to this channel. Oh, and I, it, it should also be said too that I'm kind of late to the party on this. Like this Nerd City video came out like in the late 2010 somewhere. But again, it came up on my YouTube recommendations. It said, you know, um, I don't know the name of the, I don't know the name of the title, but it was, it was right there in the thumbnail about an abusive father. Or an abu yeah, an abusive father. Like, what the hell? Um, oh, and also, I think I'm, I think I did recall me saying this. Oh, way back when. You know, um. Like somebody saying something along the lines of. It's official. You suck. At streaming. It's, you know, I'm like, you know, yes, and I'm, yes, and I'm, you know, yes, and I'm sure there's probably, uh, there's probably videos of, or there's probably streams of people out there punching, you know, punching the shit out of their kid while their eight-year-old daughter is giving them a blowjob, and he's got like 75, 100,000 followers, yeah, you know, you know, show me, you know, show me, a, you know, show me something like that, and then we'll talk, but lo and behold, it looks like I got proven wrong. Yeah, Daddy of Five, Child Abuse. You know, 750,000 subscribers. So, so I mean, I'm... You know, so, man, I must be a... I must be a terrible streamer. Like, Bill Hicks must really, really suck at getting laid. You know. So, but yeah, it's... It's pretty much been on my mind, but, uh, and, uh, I wonder if, and it was something else I was thinking of, too. I wonder if, uh, I'll bet this is probably one of the biggest reasons why, um, uh, people who take up streaming or take up content creation quit shortly after. It isn't, it isn't just some kind of, uh, whiny babies, you know, self entitled, you know, entitlement, hey, I gotta stream up, they should watch it, or anything like that, it's, it's, they're probably going, they're probably going through what I've gone through, you know, they're, you know, all that money up front that they've had to spend on their streaming equipment, and then nobody shows up, they're, they're, you know, they're feeling dejected, it's like, they're not, it's, because they're not getting out of it, what they're putting into it, so there's not just some, some empty, empty sense of entitlement or anything like that it's just they'd kind of like to be rewarded for their efforts and and that and also I think it should also be said too and I bet me like a lot of other people we're not I mean we're not asking for we're not asking for hundreds of thousands of views and subscribers and stuff and especially in my case because to this day all of my content is Creative Commons content. It's all free to use. It's free to watch. None of it's being monetized, you know. Just, you know. 
you know, watch it. There's, you know, I always try. I also try to make sure that all my content is ad-free. If any of it gets uh, copyright claimed, I delete it because I don't, I don't want to put other people through what I've gone through. You know, there's been many times where, oh, and I should rewind a bit. Um, I'm gonna be repeating myself here. I've said this in other casts too, but there's been times where I've sat there and I'll, whenever, especially back in the back in the like two, the mid to late 2010s when I was uh, watching, or hell, even farther back, where uh, you would get a uh, 30 second unskippable ads. I was forced to sit there and push the F5, push F5, the refresh key. Just hitting that over and over and over and over and over until eventually I get a video without ads on it. So I don't want to put somebody else through that. So that's, you know, again, that's one of the reasons why my content is Creative Commons content. I, I have no intention of making money off these. It's, they're all labors of love. And then secondly, you know, I'm sorry to repeat myself, but, you know, if any of my videos gets copyright claimed, I delete it. I don't want to put somebody else through that. So, again, I'm me and probably like other other small time creators, too. We're not at we're not asking. We're not asking for the world to watch us, you know, but I mean, you know, a small handful, you know, a few people. I mean, I'd probably say... Uh, what would be a good number? I would probably say maybe like uh, at least 10 people. At least uh, 10 views. You know, or at least 10... Um, at least 10 people. You know. You know, but I'm... You know, but... Again, all the time and effort I'm putting into... Into making these for just... Oh, shoot. That's a... Well, I guess that's the end of the album. All right. Well, I won't be... I won't, you won't be hearing the re this entire... Or this next album here, you won't be hearing all of. But uh, it's going to be a cosmic sorcery, and I think it's a self-titled debut. So... But yeah, that's, but yeah, that's pretty messed up, though. You know, 700, you know, and, and also, I also forgot to mention this, too. This I said this yesterday, too. It, this also assumes that, it also assumes that you, that there's no YouTube censorship involved. There was actually another video or two, also, that came from Nerd City, that, um, that, uh, there, uh, YouTube is actually, uh, secretly blocking videos, keeping them from, uh, showing up on other people's recommendations. Like, they have, a. Uh, YouTube does censor content. But apparently, they weren't censoring Daddy of Five. So, so yeah, that that's also kind of messed up. YouTube seems to think this kind of content is A-OK. -okay. So. Okay, so... Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and call it good here. Um, I gotta, I gotta get to get this uh, video uploaded and processed, and of course that also assumes that uh, OBS isn't gonna fuck up on me and uh, hang when I try to, when I try to end the recording. So, uh, but otherwise, hey, thanks for uh, tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that, like always. Um, and I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. Um, hopefully I'll have some more time because. I'm guessing that they, tomorrow they're not going to shut down my internet at midnight like I think they're going to tonight. So, like I said, I got to end this now. So, but otherwise, but until then, though, everybody, take care and see you all next time. Bye for now.